Welcome back, you're still watching Logo. This is the world of advertising where big names almost always call the shots. So whether it's Piyush Pandey or Prasoon Joshi, Pralad Kakar or Prasoon Pandey, it's almost always the biggies who hog the limelight. In an attempt to showcase a budding talent in the country, we're starting a new segment on Logo called The Rising Star. These are the advertising men and women who are actually slowly and steadily creating a mark. To kickstart the segment for this week, we are starting with Vinil Matthew, who has mastered the art of creating magic in a 35 second frame. Take a look. मेरी माँ कहती है कोई भी शुभ काम करने से पहले कुछ मीठा खा लेना चाहिए काम अच्छा होता है माँ तो कहेगी शुभ काम करने से पहले मीठा खा लो कैप्टन अविनाश राठौर एक सोल्जर की नजर कभी नीचे नहीं होनी चाहिए कुछ सीखा नहीं दीपिका पडुकोन माय न्यू नेबर यस यस अच्छा क्या फोन करूँगी हाँ these are just some of the many ads that made a mark on Indian television over the last year. But not many know that there is a common thread among all of them. Well, it's the man who created these commercials. Vinil Matthew A full-time ad director at Foot Candles. This 35-year-old ad filmmaker swept almost all the awards in the film craft category this year at the Abbeys. But as is the case with every filmmaker in India, life for Vinil too wasn't without its own set of struggles. For a Delhi boy to come to Mumbai and then find a job, obviously you must have started as an assistant director and then coming to a director stage right now, must be a lot of struggle, right? Yeah, I think the, the key, uh, the inflection point in anybody's career from somebody who's been trying to be an AD to a director is, yeah, that first break which you need, that is very critical because uh, you don't have anything on your showreel to show people. Uh, you probably have films you've assisted somebody on and um, anybody who wants to give you a break uh, doesn't have any uh, relevant, uh, you know, uh, on basis on which he can give you work. So that's uh, the toughest part to break that ceiling. Once you break that, once somebody gives you a break and it happens somehow, you know, you don't know why but it happens and you get a film, you get a small film. Then the, uh, the second uh, problem is to um, uh, convince people that okay you can handle bigger stuff or you can handle uh, more complicated films or uh, complicated performances or visual stuff. So that's a, now that's a secondary struggle but the first struggle to get your first film or first few ten films that's always a problem and um, that, that as with everybody I also had went through the two years of struggle where you get a job in three months and then you'll wait and you'll the money's running out and uh, you don't know whether you're made for this career you have to change tracks so those kind of doubts insecurities keep coming. After graduating from FTII, Vinil joined a television channel, which shut down in no time. While Vinil was confident that he knew the craft, there were not many who were ready to take chances with a new talent. Having worked with the celebrated ad filmmaker Prasun Pandey initially, Vinil didn't want to remain as an assistant director all his life. He had bigger dreams to chase. In an industry where pitching new director against established names is not an easy task, Amitabh Bhattacharya from Nomad Films gave Vinil his first break with this art film in 2003. Night Queen, Chan Kinin, Suva. To talk about Vinil, I need to talk about a little about how Nomad started. I mean, Nomad was, I mean, nobody would want to give a job to a creative director as a producer, and people weren't really very keen. I mean, they didn't know. That point of time, there were very established production houses, production houses which were doing big jobs. And nobody was, there were people who were taking chances with new directors. I wasn't too sure what I could do for Vinil. I had looked at Vinil's work, which was actually nothing more than a diploma film. And uh, it was a very adventurous kind of a thing that happened because at some point of time, I felt that uh, if this works, then it will lead to something very interesting and we will probably be able to set precedents for, uh, you know, kind of set, lay the ground for other new directors to come in in the future. The buzz ad did not create a lot of buzz, but with this, Vinil got a foothold in the industry. The first ad apart, what's a lesser known fact about Vinil is that he chose not to follow his predecessors when he just started out. 
even if it meant less or no work at all. Most of the ADs uh, who want to become a director, invariably an agency catches them and makes them do a fake ad which possibly is a festival entry. Have you encountered something like this? I mean, as a newcomer, you, it's very easy to be exploited, you know. It's like, okay, you do this and show it to us and then we'll consider for you for something else. And, uh, but that doesn't guarantee anything, you know. And uh, so I haven't personally encountered that or I've done that. Um, I have lucky, been lucky to get in uh, due course of time small promos or ads where I could actually you know, prove myself and then get onto the little bigger project and step by step I've taken it further. Over the years, Vinil has directed more than 100 ads. Obviously, some more successful than the others. But not many know that Vinil actually borrows heavily from his real life to bring it alive on reel. And nobody knows this better than Shweta, Vinil's wife who has edited some of his films. The Shubara Meena Kulkani film, the jeans film where the husband tells the wife, you know, what's wrong in wearing jeans. Uh, the entire ambience around the film, the, you know, children playing in the corridor, a man coming from work, you know, going back home, the, the whole colony system that existed. And Vinil is from Delhi. So he's grown up in that kind of a neighborhood, you know. So he has incorporated all those elements into the film. Jeans men can hear Sakti. Creating magic in a 35 second commercial is not an easy task. As an ad filmmaker, getting obsessed with visual imagery more than storytelling is a trap that Vinil has been cautious of since the start. Hi. Hi. When you go on shoots, you know, you almost see a director having a reference point from an international ad film and starts directing a film with that as a framework. How do you react to something like that? Initially, when you know, you start, you don't get films that you can tell much of a story. So you concentrate on making, concentrate on making your performances more nuanced, uh, or to find an interesting visual language. I never went with a reference in mind and said, okay, now I'm going to film. Uh, now I'm going to uh, fit the film into my reference point. It was always organic. It's like, okay, this is the idea. This is the communication which has to be done. How can I make it more interesting or appealing? And then you draw on whatever influences you've had in life. So I have never been a reference. Uh, kind of director and I uh, never referenced too much. I never went through black books or look at international films. Uh, personally, I, don't, I didn't enjoy it. Also, what is very interesting right now is every ad filmmaker that we know of right now eventually wants to become a filmmaker and invariably the ad filmmakers do not come to the level of being a successful filmmaker. But obviously, there are some exceptions to that because they are so fixate, fixated about the frames. Yeah. And obviously, a 35 second gives you that kind of a mental block or rather a mental mindset which doesn't let you graduate to that level. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, because I always, um, I would say I'm more of a filmmaker in advertising rather than an advertising filmmaker. I completely agree with what you're saying. I think there is a tendency to fall in love with visuals or an edit pattern or certain kind of music. Uh, or look and feel but um, honestly that is just uh, I mean for me I never considered any of those elements as the primary objective um, it is content driven so if you're trying to communicate there should be honesty in it that will translate to the audience they will believe what you're saying there should be some element of reality to it because people should feel that this happens in our lives or this is I've seen this it's familiar and then you try and make it fit into some kind of visual language. But everything is led from the idea. Vinil over the years has risen to a level where nobody doubts his credentials as an ad filmmaker. But will this rising star be able to fulfill his big dream like all other ad veterans who turn filmmakers? Only time will tell. But for now, we wish this successful ad filmmaker and a rising star the very best. On that note, it's a wrap on Logo this week. Thank you so much for watching in. In case you have any feedback, please feel free to write to us. Our Facebook and our Twitter IDs are flashing on your screen. Alternatively, you can also write to us at logo at utvmoney.com. In case you missed the telecast, you can also catch it on Facebook page, Bloomberg UTV Logo. Till then, have a good day. Bye.